All right, so this is a suggestion via Discord. The name of the video is, Diddy has been accused of paying $1 million to have Tupac, let's say, removed. Let's go and check this out immediately, guys. Named seven, Diddy 77 times in court documents related to Tupac's murder. But let's clarify this. This isn't the first time he's implicated Diddy, right? This Not has been all. a claim for a while? Not at all, yeah. Correct, and I have some exclusive information for News Nation. Okay. okay. Earlier today, uh, a representative for Diddy reached out to me, and um, he is working with, let's see, one, two, three different law firms uh, trying to intimidate me because I spoke about this on my website, and uh, they were not pleased by that. Uh, off the record, they told me, uh, 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 oops, sorry, uh, I'm not naming any names. Somebody uh, that is a representative for Diddy, I won't say who, okay, uh, just adamantly is denying and has reminded me that Diddy has previously denied this and that these new allegations are not new whatsoever, actually, that they've been around for a very long time. And uh, according to Team Diddy, have absolutely no merit whatsoever. But the interesting thing to me is that he has three lawyers that he's three law firms on retainer. I don't know how much money is coming in, but I know that a lot of money is going out every single month for Diddy. Because he's got a lot of lawsuits that he's filing, oh, yeah. fighting. Guys, yeah, there's a, there's definitely a lot going on, like specifically in the news, at least, right? Um, who knows if it's if there's a lot going on in actuality? But we do know that with, if we follow what the news is actually saying, there's a lot going on with Diddy himself. Right? And the only thing that we kind of know for a fact is, uh, you know, that video that basically popped up, you know, from the hotel that that incident with Cassie. Right? And, um, that's what we know for sure. But the problem here is is that this rumor has been going on and around for a really 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 long time keep this in mind guys i was definitely alive um i was young i was i was, I was 10 years old in 1996 okay um but i was also in new york at that time so i know what it felt like to be from the east coast um you know, and not from the West Coast at that time, let's say, right? So if you were there in the West Coast, you're still basically blaming the East Coast for every single thing that happened in 1996, right? I get that. And specifically, Keefe D, he was obviously super involved in whatever was going on on the West Coast at that time. So um, would it make sense that he is still literally holding on to Diddy's name? Absolutely. I think that makes more sense than anything else, right? I mean... That's what makes sense, guys. But let's continue this video. Let's see what it takes us. Right now, and of course, there's the potential of uh, criminal charges on the horizon. I, does law enforcement, do they consider Diddy a suspect? Have they ever investigated him for this? Uh, that's a good question. I'm not sure. The the um, person that made the allegations is currently behind bars here in Las Vegas, where I live. And uh, I, I respect our law enforcement here, but I somehow don't believe that they would be investigating Diddy yeah. for a crime that allegedly occurred in the 90s in a, in a different city, in a different state. Well, wow. and let's also be clear. Let's play the other side. You also have a guy who's on trial for the, or going to be on trial for the murder of Tupac Shakur, putting right. the blame on a very high profile rapper. Take it for what it is. Now, let's talk right. about Keefe D for a second, because he's been in the news a lot recently, and prosecutors say they have new evidence that places him at the murder scene, right? Well, new, ev new evidence. I mean, uh, I'm surprised that it took them decades to put him behind bars. I would like to believe that this evidence is legit and they have enough to convict him. Uh, you know, uh, I'm surprised that he's still behind bars. Like they, they consider him to be a real threat, yet he was here in the community for the decades. Time. Right. Uh, we'll see. The, the yeah. trial uh, is, has not begun yet, and um, he is trying to get out on bail, and, and uh, there is a hearing scheduled on that soon. Yeah, I think the prosecutors are saying he is a danger to society. Yeah. And look, I think what they're saying is, is that his he wife said. had booked a hotel room in Las Vegas. So his idea of not being there could be a little shoddy. All right. Thank you for watching. Guys, when it comes to like specifically Keefe D's bail, um, hmm. Perez Sultan is, I think he's, he's very right in this instance. Like you didn't think he was a threat for the entirety of the time that he was there. But now you do. That's a little weird. And don't get me wrong here, guys, they, they were definitely sitting on his house. 
right, for a while uh, to the point where they knew exactly where he was going to be, when he was going to be. So, that, so they did that gigantic raid on his property, right? Taking all of his electronics. Not sure why they're taking his electronics. Why? Uh, because it happened in 96. And trust me, nothing from back then. I mean, maybe, maybe you know, maybe. You never know. Uh, there could be some, some type of like journal entry, but I highly doubt this man's writing journal entries, right? So I don't know what exactly you're looking for. Maybe old digitized images or something like that because that's really what you're looking for 1996 okay like have you tried to use any of any computer technology from 96 you know it's a little weird guys right uh, if it even works i think i pulled i pulled a hard drive the other day from a computer from like the year 2000 and it literally i plugged it in and it instantly like fried itself so well that data is gone right i mean too much power i'm guessing guys right? but either way um this rumor has been going around for a really, really long time to the point where even Eminem said something like that, right? At, at the end of one of his songs, guys, look, listen for the correlation between Eminem pointing out, you know, Diddy doing something to Tupac, allegedly, right? Um, in the song, Eminem did that, right? There's just a lot of people in the industry who, who believe or believed at one time that Diddy had something to do with um, removing Tupac, right? I mean, think about it. That was the only person that was uh, that had the real ability to, to kind of dethrone his biggest act, right? I mean, that's really what it is, I think, personally. But um, again, it's all a rumor. No one knows anything concrete, and I'm sure um, unless we do find out, which we probably will never find out really again, guys, because again, if if we could find out who who took the lives of Notorious B.I.G. and Tupac, we would have found out already, guys. Right? We would have. Like, I'm sure we've all seen, specifically if you followed the case forever, um, you've all seen all these documentaries and things that people have been making and, and docu-series and limited series kind of regarding the topic itself. Um, it's just impossible for some reason like it's we can find everything we found but we found bin laden think about that for a second okay we found bin laden but we can't find who took the lives of tupac shakur and biggie all right <laughs> guys that's the issue here right and so i mean if keefy d did it you know at least at least the tupac side of things guys, then okay right but here's the thing guys we've had a lot of people that have been brought up specifically, right? And I think some, I think his name was like Orlando or something, guys. I don't know. It was a guy who had issues that just so happened to be at the place and they got into like some type of kerfuffle and he got, you know, kind of beat down in, this, in that situation, let's say. Um, he was a, a candidate, a strong candidate, guys, for a while. But let's see where this takes us, guys. But all right, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly. Guys, before we go, are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical Movie Reviews with Mr. L. Boyd along with Mr. L. Boyd Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out.